Hello guys, it is Russian for Beginners by P.S. Russian. I'm going to introduce to you a completely new series, Russian verbs. The first verb we will look at in today's tutorial is to stop. Today we are going to cover four verbs. Astanavits to stop someone or something, останавливать to stop someone or something, останавливаться to stop yourself, and остановиться to stop yourself. I want you to start with imperative form. As we know, or we are about to find it out, then in Russian there are two forms of imperative. One of them we use for singular, informal, and the other one we use for plural or singular, formal. Please look at this diagram. We will start with the first section, uh, which tells you that you want to stop someone or something, or someone wants to stop someone or something. So we are going to use verb astanavits. Imperative forms of this verb are astanavi, astanavitsi. So if you want to stop the taxi driver, you would say, пожалуйста, остановите за следующим светофором. If he is your friend, that you're going to say, пожалуйста, останови за следующим светофором. In the next section, you want to stop yourself, or someone wants to stop himself or herself. And again, you have two choices, perfective aspect, остановиться, and imperfective aspect, останавливаться. For example, if someone would steal your phone and run away, you would shout, остановись. If someone would lost his phone and you would notice it, you would say Astanavitis Vapatirali Telefon. Usually we use imperative form to give instructions. Uh, that's why imperfective aspect uncommon in these cases. Uh, though I want you to look at one case when we will use imperfect aspect. In this case, a word останавливаться has a different meaning. For example, останавливайтесь у нас. You would say to your friends who are traveling and you don't want them to go to their hotel. You want them to stay in your house. The last section, when you want someone to stop something, but you use verbs from second section. So, for example, you want the taxi driver to stop the car, but you ask him to stop himself because he is in charge of this car. Остановите за углом, пожалуйста. Now we will look at verbs we use with verb to stop. And I want to start with verbs to be able and can. Я могу остановиться. Я смогу остановиться. Я могу остановить. Я смогу остановить. Я могу останавливаться. Я смогу останавливаться. Я могу останавливаться. Я смогу останавливаться. The difference between я могу and я смогу you can find on our website. In these cases, perfective aspect, we use to say, then you can do it. I can stop you. Using imperfect aspect, you are talking about your skills to stop yourself or someone. It means then you can repeat it and it's not something you can do just once. The next verb we will use with verb to stop is need. Мне нужно остановить. Тебе нужно остановить. Ему нужно остановить. Нам нужно остановить. 
вам нужно остановить, им нужно остановить. And you can see the difference between Russian and English language. In English you would say I need, but in Russian мне нужно. So in Russian language I am not a subject in this sentence. That's why we use pronoun I in dative case. So the same you are going to do with your nouns and adjectives you use with need to stop. In English the structure of this sentence would look like this. It needs whom? It needs me. To say that you need to stop him, you are going to use defective aspect. Even though if you are going to repeat this action, doesn't mean that it is a process. You can say, мне нужно остановить его 10 раз, и тогда я перейду на следующий уровень. Or you can say, мне нужно останавливать его каждый раз, когда он пересечет эту линию. So, all these 10 times imply 10 actions without any process or time period. In many cases, imperfective aspect may be interchanged with the verb of perfective aspect, but I wouldn't advise you to use imperfective aspect instead of perfective aspect, because in many cases such sentences would not make any sense. I want to stop for now, and the next meaning of verb to stop going to be zakonchit, which I would use in this case. I want to stop for now. Thank you for your attention. I do hope that I help you. Please subscribe if you want to hear more of me on www.dictionarydolls.psrussian.com. You will find some more information about verb astanavit. Good luck with your learning, guys.